jobs. So I have a list of jobs that's from. So it's it's a it goes from a percentage of U.S. workers by male by sector, right? Yeah. So it's like a, a diagonal line that shows all the jobs. So I'll just list off the ones that are most women and most male. So, okay. So the the girl jobs. So which is like. 85 per, no so it's like only 2 per, 2.3 percent of kindergarten teachers are men right yeah any of them straight i i think that most kindergarten male teachers probably are gay right because right, yeah or worse more worse yeah yeah I, that's yeah you're very suspicious for us just it's a, the most suspicious job the only way you could be straight actually is if you're super religious like a super Christian, you could maybe be. Yeah, like, you think oh, that makes a. <laughs> nah, yeah, but in that world, you go, you're you not. Know, the you're, only thing that would make it less suspicious <laughs> if you're like, I don't know, a Catholic priest, I for example. I think the radar is not up, though. Like if you're in a very like strict religious thing and then. The, but why like, are you doing kindergarten instead of grade three, even if you're a, 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 like super Christian, as you say? Why would that help? Love the kids. Okay, sure. You want to you get to them early. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never <laughs> seen a male kindergarten teacher. Well, I, that's my. Solution. I don't even think I've seen ever seen a male gay kindergarten teacher. I had some. Yeah. Yeah, that's that explains. There was one things. kicking around in my school, Mister Bro. I've said this before, but <laughs> he used to Mr. close Bro? his eyes in class, and it was really creepy. His name was Mister Bro. His name was Mister Bro. French. N I don't know. No, no like he was like he was like a old like bald like fat bald guy. Oh, okay. Which is like yeah, exactly. Like, why did you decide you want to teach? Like, is like, he a relic from another era where he goes, yeah, back in my day that was normal, and then now like it kind of it was never like, normal. Yeah. It's probably less normal back yeah, then. Probably. The only thing I will say is maybe if they get paid the same, you're like this one's easier but it's maybe not easy no, that's kids not are easy. annoying kids are nightmares maybe you can be stupider you're like i don't have to do anything like marking kindergarten's papers for example maybe is easier yeah you just just it's just a hand print and you're just going that's a good it, hand that's print. the only thing i could think of is if you're just trying to fuck the dog <laughs> not fuck the kid let's hope you're just fucking the dog <laughs> and nothing else <laughs> So kindergarten teacher is 2%. So I, my theory is I think they just need to, the only way that they can solve this is every, t every male teacher and coach for little kids, if, unless your kid's on the team, yeah. is reluctant. You know what I mean? Like they, someone, for example, let's say you want to be a grade eight teacher. They say, hey, you have to teach grade two for a few years first. So every teacher that's teaching like grade one doesn't really want to be right. there. Right. You start every you just, male. You straight up. You start at the bottom and you work your way up. <laughs> exactly. Like, and it's you get paid more for high school and less for yeah, kinder, so exactly. kindergarten is entry level. And then if the, and if they do their three year tenure and they're like, no, I actually want to stay. You go, you're fired. Yeah, you're out of here. Because it's, you know, you, you want the guy that shows up to be like, uh, I don't really want to teach grade one, but I will. Yeah, you go, yeah, I got that's the kidding. attitude we need. Yeah, exactly. The show that's like, where are the kids? When can I you're, start? You're the guy on the construction <laughs> site who goes, you just sweep and get us coffee that, and, and work it, your yes. way up to... That's the only person that probably male-wise should be able to teach kindergarten. So that's that. Dental hygienist. Yeah. Which I... I had a that's male... That's the second most. Yeah, I had a male dental hygienist and I thought it was... Uh, right before I moved from Toronto... You know, are you trans or something? Yeah, what's going on? He was on gay. Here? No, he was gay, obviously. But uh, okay, I was still guys, very yeah. suspicious. You're right. That's a good point that of these small percentages, it's gay guys. Yeah, and then, and I remember they gave me the option. They go... Oh, no, sorry. They they said, hey, we have, we, we have the option. Do you want the, the guy or the girl? And I was like, girl, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Except you did say for a masseuse you'd rather a guy. You guy, hundred percent for a masseuse because I don't. There's no power strength involved in hy hygienists. <laughs> so dental hygienist, secretaries, male secretaries, tough. I, I feel like if I knew a dude that was a dental hygienist, that wouldn't like strike me. Executive as Executive like assistant. But like a secretary, if you go, hey, just have a word with my secretary, <laughs> and it's like a guy, like that's a tough to. Although, be. yeah, the, the, the getting <laughs> slapped on the tough. ass by the CEO would be extra demeaning <laughs> when you're just like a straight dude and more like <laughs> allowable too yeah you're probably the only Attaboy. secretary that yeah exactly because you can't slap the girls on the ass but you probably can give a little tap to yeah, your yeah, male yeah. secretary you know the way you're answering those phones yeah good shit buddy. i know it's good shit pal but that that's tough like you know on the dating market for example if like you're on tinder and it's like you're a man and you're like a male you know 5 10 uh 34 years old Secretary. Oh, you definitely are. You're church. You're churching that. <laughs> you're up. churching that right. That's, up. that's executive assistant. 
exactly. That's, that's not a. You know, there, there is. I don't think anybody's really goes by secretary. Uh, maybe not. They got rid of it. I don't think. I, I think you're term. wrong. I bet you like some small office in the middle of nowhere. They're yeah, not who they're the no, they're not up on all the new stuff, and they still just call it the secretary. Yeah, male secretary. Yeah, but you, there's no. But I went. In, I bet if you go on like area. LinkedIn in New York City and you type secretary, nothing comes up. It's like it's just they call it executive assistant. Though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, speech therapist. Interesting, right? My, my ex girlfriend was one. What? Yeah, she was a speech therapist. Yeah, that's a chick job. Why is that a chick job? <sighs> that I don't know. Because I don't know why you're more like. Because guys aren't wor- you know worried about getting the fucking right syllables. You know, yeah, you they speak don't... like a. I don't know why. I'm sure there are. What's the percentage? Of is that like a there? girl thing to do? To be like, uh, it's actually pronounced. Uh, uh, do you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be like correcting asshole. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know. You go. Do you mean? Can you go to the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, totally. yeah, I mean, you can go to the bathroom. May you go to the bathroom? I mean, there's a big overlap there with the kindergarten teachers, too, because that seems like a kindergarten. So is that... What's the percentage for that? Like, speech therapist is sort of like professional nag, right? No, no it's therapist, to get rid like of stutters. Stutters, and, like and if you just like... Yeah, you can't... I have anymore. no idea. Joe, like, Joe Biden went to a speech therapist yeah. famously, right? A chick. For but sure. I have no idea why that one's so much of a chick job. I don't know. That That's a good question. It, uh, it's maybe just assistance. one of those things of women are more nurtured. And that just falls into that, like uh-huh. nurse. it's nursing. It's mouth nursing. Mouth nursing. Ma- it's a very so <laughs> dental hygienist, mouth nurse. Two the two of the top five chick jobs are dent. Like girls love teeth, right? They love teeth. Yeah, they or, love mouths. There's two options. Girls love teeth, or dentists are dogs. <laughs> dentists are dogs. Like you know what I mean? They all they gotta have like because it is very common that dentists have like almost a harem of like hot chicks around them. Uh, in terms of the employees, ah, uh-huh. yeah. Right, and dentists all like low key think they're cool. Like they all kind of like. I remember I, I've I've had multiple dentists, out with a lot of dentists that brought up to me that they play guitar. Oh, like that, that is know. a that is such like a dentist character. My girlfriend's family is like all dentists. And do they play guitar? No. Interesting. No, no guitars. A lot of dentists in the family, eh? No. Well, they maybe aren't a cool dentist because they're they're. But that, cool. do you think that's why the dentists all kill themselves? Because they're surrounded by these squawking heads? <laughs> that's, that is probably the best explanation for it I've ever heard. Is you just see them all plotting in the break room. You go, what are these up to? There's a mutiny on our hands and the only way out is a suicide. But you are, if you're a dentist, every single other job other than you is a girl. Yeah. So is that, pretty much <laughs> is that possible i'm honestly like my back home my dentist that i went to as a kid was legit there was like two dudes and 30 women okay yeah receptionist uh child care worker same thing nurses reception uh dietitians that's a uh hairdressers payroll health records so these are all the girl jobs that's the top girls and that's all the ones i went occupational therapists health aides bookkeepers so that went up to 11 percent. okay so all those jobs are still 90 percent women yeah like not even close you know what i mean and then in the middle so around 50 percent, you have jobs like uh Purchasing managers, guides. So guides. I guess that's like a tour gu- guide tour or something guide? like that. Okay. Advertising's kind of uh, like yeah. a little skews mail. Retail is 50 50. Probably just, but that's because it depends on what retail. Like if you go like gun sales, it's course, probably men. Like and if Dick's you go like. Sporting goods is probably Yeah, so they're just including like. Everything. Mul- yeah, yeah, exactly. So a lot, probably a lot of these middle ones is if you actually went into it, there was different ones. Ushers, 50% each. Is bodega owners on there? <laughs> Weighers, measurers, and checkers. I guess that's uh, um, where's my I name? guess what they I don't know what they mean but like, like maybe bulk barn <laughs> yeah maybe checking out I think what that actually means is probably like you work in like a factory type setting you know what I mean like maybe. you're weighing the shipments okay yeah. maybe but you're you're not actually the one putting it on you're just the one like just, jotting just, it down yeah, yeah, no. so that's All meant right. Other financial specialists, editors, and reporters. Okay, so these are all in the middle. <clears throat> you start to get up to men <clears throat> when you get to machine operators, engineers, law enforcement, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Dentists. And then at the very top, these are the jobs that no woman will ever dare touch. We wouldn't allow it even if you wanted the to. The jobs where we're at, 95 to... 99 percent there are tons of them in that yeah construction works 95 percent and we're still well yeah but that's close to the top there's still 40 more jobs yeah drywall construction 98 percent 
What about female roofing? Drywall companies? is ninety eight percent. Well, female roofing companies are tip. They might have actually tipped the scale. Yeah, they might have actually done some damage. Like with that five company. female drywall up, op- like actually <laughs> makes a pretty big dent in this statistic. <laughs> Probably. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Hammer operators, go <laughs> uh, Yeah, yeah, what's definitely. A, me yeah. What's me a and the fellas operator? are hammer operators. I don't, I don't never heard that. Uh, you catch me on a Friday night after I have a couple of drinks. They call me a yeah, hammer yeah, operator. Hammer operator. Uh, mining occupations, ninety nine percent men. Yeah, that's that's uh, that that one makes sense. Well, of course they make sense, but it's funny. I'm wh- like, what would even a chick do at like a mining camp? No, but it's just like it's a funny thing when it's to to kind of picture these jobs when it starts talking about you know it's like obviously you're just like when you were like hey we want equality in the workplace what you mean is do you think, do you think there's any rogue, we want to be ceos do you think there's any rogue guidance counselors out there dudes who are like girls coming he goes like you just really trying to direct them into this stuff never probably yeah he goes you should be like a minor oh pays great yeah but like they, they probably ha- you'd think that if you were like a guidance counselor to some degree you do have to Give guys and girls the same advice like nowadays, right? I don't know. Yeah, do guy do, do guidance counselors still exist? Very good friend of the pod, who I will not mention by name, is, yep. is going to college right now. Yeah, and he said that uh, I won't uh, air him out, but um, uh, he said that he had to do like already multiples uh, of sex, like uh, assault seminars, yeah. like in, in orientation, mm-hmm. and in the the bathrooms. They got rid of urinals in the men's bathrooms and they have tampon dispensers. There's no <laughs> urinals in the men's bathroom? What are you supposed to shit in when you got to go quick? <laughs> but like, it makes no sense because, okay, if you want to be like, hey, we're going to put tampons in for what, <laughs> you know, whatever, yeah. right? You go, you're if you're going to have people that, you know, uh, don't have, that have vaginas in the men's bathroom, then uh, sure. But... Urinals, like, why would you get rid of them? Like, is it triggering to them? I guess, like, what's uh, even the reason for that? Well, they're trying to go just full gender neutral, and that's such a gendered thing. I but guess. they still have gendered bathrooms. Oh, they still have. Oh, uh, it's it's gendered stupid. bathrooms. They're trying to punish men because that's the thing. You ever the one you ever go to like a sporting event? The women's line's super long for the bathroom. Men's yeah. line, and the reason the men's line goes quick is because we got the uni- urinals. So this is just punishment. Yeah, well, also men punishment. take just qu- quicker to do everything. Like, don't that's true. Like, I, I'm sure there's four things that contribute to that. One of them is girls probably look in the mirror longer after, and like, yeah, a lot of puttering, lot they, of a lot of dawdling, a lot of puttering. They probably they sit down to pee and they probably dick around on their phone a little bit. There's yeah. probably just a lot of dawdling going yeah, on. Of, you know what yeah, I mean? That's true. <clears throat> Other mining occupations, carpenters. Like some of these jobs where you're just like, it's not really, it's not that physically. Like, it's a hard job. But it's not even that physically demanding. It's just undesirable for yeah. a woman. Like auto mechanic, ninety nine percent like women. It's like auto mechanics is a lot of like fat old guys that aren't in shape. It's not like this yeah, crazy not, physical job. There is some physical elements, but nothing insanely physical. No, no. no there's like no. You could change tires if you're like I mean, a reasonably fit. There's woman. a lot of mechanics that are like strong dudes. Yeah. But there's a lot of mechanics that are like a fat seventy year old. Yeah. It's like I feel like a lot of it is really just you know it's you're putting a puzzle together a lot of times right but my point is so there's no reason other than like girls don't want to do this yeah, they get dirty it's a dirty <laughs> job it's a dirty what job dirty, what specifically jobs that leave you filthy at the end of the day does a woman want to do like dude imagine you see some chick you go and she has fucking like those you know the mechanic hands yeah where they're just dirty all the time they're just black always yeah it's and a tough you know, look one for clean a ch- finger because you <laughs> fingered herself <laughs> it's my finger and finger right here yeah, it's like girls don't want to do that. No, you're of course. Automobile mechanics. I'll just do a few more. Elevator repairs. So that's we're up to ninety nine and then ninety nine point eight. So that means out of every thousand, two women. Yeah. So think about that. If you added five women, it like would drastically change yeah. the stat. Like, why don't they have like an all female boil makers? <laughs> What's a boil maker? Either? I don't even know. That's <laughs> another drink. There's so probably they, some they, people they make who boilers. To yeah, they make boilers. Okay, but like, so all if you had an all female team of boiler makers, yeah, it legitimately would change the stat drastically. Yeah, yeah, women could do a lot of a lot of damage to these drillers stats. of the earth. Ninety nine point six. Four out of every thousand earth drillers is women. That's Concrete and shocking. cement workers. That's the job that I saw. Drillers and oil well roofers and slaters. 
bus, truck, and stationary mechanics, 99%. Yeah. So it's funny to, it's kind of interesting to see those stats, eh? Yeah. I mean, well, part of it is what, you know, guys like Jordan Peterson have just been saying. We go like, look, we, and, you know, the super liberal feminists just want to ignore. We go like, people just gravitate towards certain things. Of course. And it's just, it's like there are laws of nature. That just this happens. No, there's not. This isn't all just like gendered fucking your kids up when they're a kid, and then they make them be like, "Oh, so f- had such a fucked up childhood that I want to be a, a large engine mechanic." Well, that's why it's well, sometimes when people are having these conversations where they say, you know, every you know there should be the same men and women in every job. You just go grow up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's you're, grow it's, the it's fantasy land. You're living in fantasy land. Grow up. Yeah, agreed. Grow up and watch She Hulk. 